Hi guys, so it's Vlogmas Day 1. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. So I'm here in America and this year I am hoping that I am able to start and finish Vlogmas like I did in the previous years which I just had like a few days. And I'm really hoping that I do get to finish it this year because like I'm not so busy. I'm a little um, already at ease. I'm done with the adjustments. I got to America like about... Uh, more than a month ago and I've been adjusting and I've been trying to prepare things for work and now I'm I think I'm ready I know what to do and I know how to like handle my classes and everything so far I'm still learning I'm new at this and I'm liking the idea that I'm starting again um, as a beginner but of course with the experience that I have it's my prep period and I'm trying to prepare for physics. I'm just taking a breather. I just had four classes and before I had those four classes, we had a meeting. So it's been a long morning already, but I'm enjoying every bit of it. There are challenges along the way. Um, I'm handling different classes. I'm handling three different classes, two maths and one science, that's physics. But the other math that I have is like Sedai one. Sedai one is like when you are handling um, Spanish-speaking students only, but I enjoy that class because 
I am learning with them. They're learning English and I'm learning Spanish um, just so they could see that it's okay to like pronounce it differently and we're having fun actually. Uh, people are expecting that it will be a difficult transition. It is actually, it's a challenging one though. Um, I wouldn't say it's difficult. It's a challenging one. So yeah, I'm going to use this period to prepare. And I think I've shown you some few clips of how I started my day. Yeah, join me as I prep. So after this prep period, since it's a Wednesday, we had our, it's since it's the first Wednesday of the month, we had our staff meeting. So my prep period is before lunch. Usually on other days, other than Wednesday, it's um, after it's after lunch. But since, again, it's a collaboration Wednesday, my prep period is before lunch. But either way, I get to enjoy it. I enjoy longer breaks. I mean, my break is just that lunch and this prep period. But, of course, the prep period I use in preparing. So, yeah, join me as I start my vlog mass. And I hope I get to continue vlogging. I hope daily, if not daily, at least every other day. Um... Yeah, and now let me start with my outfit of the day. So I'm just here on my desk. So this is my outfit for the day. I've um, had um, a few slacks. Had it made in the Philippines, so I brought it here. And this one, I'm wearing the gray one. So it has this um, ribbon just so I could like insert it. And I'm just um, wearing a Walmart blouse or shirt that I got during the Black Friday sale for two dollars i think and this coat yeah this is from the philippines still so yeah i'm basically this is my outfit every day oh yeah and my shoes is from walmart as well yeah so when i got here i've been wearing my heels but it doesn't work so i'm wearing my rubber shoes in school and that wasn't okay They're, those are sneakers not rubber shoes actually but i'm more comf comfortable with this one that i'm wearing now and usually this is my like uniform so just the slacks and the shoes and then I change blouses every day, of course. And um, the coat. I don't know. It, I'm just more comfortable with it. Whether it's hot or cold weather, it's just more presentable. And this one, this lanyard that has my keys, I should just like wear it all day. Because like many times, one time I left it at home, one time I left it here. So I just need it to be with me. And of course, when we do classes, we wear masks. So this is my lanyard for the mask. This is supposed to be worn, but I just like have it there hanging today. But yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, I hope I get the vlog later after school too. Oh, after our seventh period, we have this um, department meeting. But after that, I'm going to go home and maybe do some after school stuff. I'm just going to see what happens today. If not today, then tomorrow. Join me um, during my prep period and my lunch. Coffee. Of course, I have my Copico LA coffee. It's the only coffee I like. But of course, I do take some other coffee, but I just need... I was training myself to just have one coffee a day, but when I started working, I think I need a booster shot. I just take it at lunch, because if I take it in the afternoon, then I don't get to sleep at night. I don't know what's wrong with my um, system, but coffee just like... Yeah, and I think my water's not hot because like I left this open today. So yeah, I hope this mixes, but I don't think it will because it's not hot anymore. But yeah, it mixes. It must be a bit yeah. not hot. Oh, oh I should have brought the other container that um stores heat better. I think this was open in the car. So yeah, maybe I'll just bring that home and reheat it. I'm not gonna drink it because it's not nice. I'm just gonna heat it in the microwave oven. This is my lunch box. And that's my lunch box. And this is my lunch, my cute lunch. So since we only have 30 minutes for lunch, and even, sh I mean 30 minutes, yeah. And even shorter during collaboration Wednesdays, um, I uh, just eat just so I could go on in the day. And, but I really do enjoy eating a breakfast and when I get home, like maybe snacks or dinner. So this is Cebu Chorizo. This is the one we got, I think, in a Filipino food shop in Filipino store in San Francisco. We went to San Francisco last Thanksgiving and that's what we got. We had Shomai yesterday. We also got that from Chowking in Seafood City. 
So yeah, I'm gonna eat first and then do the work so that it's gonna be straight. So time check, it's 11.07 a.m. And I'm still checking my schedule because I don't memorize it yet. I don't, I'm not familiar with it yet. Oh, I have 30 minutes before period 5 ends. And then after that, so I have a, one hour. Yeah. I have one hour before my physics class. And I'm going to prepare a quiz for them, a short quiz on just what we did yesterday. Mm -hmm. And continue discussing. Yesterday, I was talking to M, and I was telling her that I miss what I miss in the Philippines was that during breaks, you have people to talk to. Here, you kind of have just to take it um, easy because, like, we have different break periods. Mm -hmm. And it's a big campus, so you don't get to see all of the teachers at once. But this vlog, I hope I'm able to tell um, what happened during my day, my experiences. I'm sharing it to everyone. And um, yeah, I'm just happy though that our classes here are short. We have classes from 8 to 3. So we, I still get to do a lot of things after. I mean, not be busy with things, but... I get to chill, to relax, and to like have time to do other things other than work-related stuff. So yeah, that's what I've been doing after class. So I got here, I mentioned, so it's going to be a story time. I mentioned that um, I arrived here more than a month ago. So the thing here, the thing with this is before I worked in the Philippines as a public school teacher, right? And I've been doing that for 10 years. And um, last year, just right before pandemic, I already applied and I got interviewed and then pandemic happened. The lockdown started in March, but nobody knew that the pandemic would last until today or would last a very long time. So I still made, um, I still did apply in April, 2020. And that was my first school interview. And I got in and it was from a city like about 15 minutes away from here. So, yeah, but that and then, yeah, I got it. I had the job offer. I was about to fly in July of last year. But then the pandemic continued. So we weren't sure in, on on like, yeah, how to get here. Um, there were changes in how to get here and stuff like that. So, yeah. So afterwards. In October, they were asking me again, but by that time, there was still no vaccine. My husband was having doubts about me coming here, and with everything that's going on, he said if everything was just normal, he would, yeah, he would consider, he would let me, but um, he would let me, but then because of... Um, the situation back then so yeah we had to turn it down and early this year i was already thinking if i should consider since vaccines are already here i had my vaccine middle of this year so yeah but just as when yeah a few weeks after i had my first dose of vaccine i was re-offered the job and um, we were just thinking about it for two days and then we said yes and we were thinking if Jonah and I should come here together or should I go first and he should just follow so also we can bring the kid dogs if it's possible but yeah we're also thinking for the adjustment period for the expenses it would be best if I come here first so yeah it was a two-day um, decision making time and we said yes and then there were just some delays with the documents and in about two months we were already on uh we went to manila for the um embassy um schedule by the way this vlog mass would be more on uh, this would be a mix of uh, the things i do before christmas 
which I think will be a bit more sentimental this year since I'm away from family, but not really away because I have plans of going to Philadelphia, um, of going to my aunt on the East Coast for Christmas. Yeah, and there's a little side bit trip to that before I go to Philadelphia. I go to Arizona. So yeah, that was a an unplanned detour, but it works for me. And I get to see some people in Arizona too. Yeah, so that's it. And um, yeah, um, um, what was I saying? <laughs> um, yeah, this vlog mass will be a mix of what I do for Christmas and what I did before I got here. So maybe the um, snippets of the vlogs that I took in 2021, which never got uploaded. So there are days when I just started um, the vlog and didn't end it. So that's why it didn't got uploaded. And the things, the preparations that we did before my flight here, all the Dispedida caught on video, all the um, Mary making caught on the video that I can put in the vlog. And just so to explain how I got here. So there was also a bit of a backstory there because I was supposed to be transferred to another school, which is my request, which somebody offered and I requested for it. It got approved, but then... Um, it got approved the same time I had this offer, I uh, accepted this offer because that request came first. Yeah, I'm going to tell that in another story time. But yeah, basically I've been here for more than a month. Um, I just started working about three weeks ago and that's about... Um, three weeks of waiting too. So I've been here for six weeks. That's a long time. No, six, five weeks. Yeah. So um, the waiting time has really tested my patience. Um, all the processes that I've been doing since we accepted this one and even before the, the, the situations I had before this, the reasons why I accepted it, it's been a, ch it's been a challenge. Mm-hmm. And this is just one of the many new journeys I took in 2021. So I'm also going to take this um, vlog mass to like um, see how far I've come in the year 2021. Because just, just right now, I'm thinking I did an online show early this year. Um, there's been a lot of changes in the way we do school in the Philippines. Yeah, that's as for the work side but then i did an online show early this year i uh, jonard and i joined a community that's really helpful that's really helping us grow in our faith that's a new journey for us and then this one i'm coming here this is the third new journey that we had um taken this year and all of those three journeys oh there's also one new journey we had a business we have a business um still in the works but um, yeah, so we have four new ventures this year and I'm planning to cultivate maybe three out of those four. I'm not pursue I'm not planning to pursue one, but I'm planning to change it with the vlogging. So yeah, pursue everything and uh, let me just say that um since it's December first, let me just say that I'm very much blessed and I am so happy that mm, we are given this chance and opportunity. So yeah, that's a reminder that I need to work now and to eat fast. And I'll update you guys. So yeah. Bye. For now. Yeah, we're done with our department meeting. And I'm just keeping my things. And I'm going home. I don't know what I'll be doing home first. Maybe an exercise. Checking papers. Preparing for tomorrow's class. And yeah. So, so yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention one of our colleagues gave us an early Christmas present. It's still December 1st, yet I received my first Christmas present. Thank you so much, Mr. Hunter.
lunch when you done with early dinner I tried doing the early dinner yesterday like around 3 p.m. Um, and I tried not to eat anything after that but at 11 p.m. I thought I was gonna sleep early but at 11 p.m. I got so hungry that I just forced myself to sleep and woke up at 4 had dinner had breakfast at around 5 so yeah my routine or my goal this month is to like have dinner at 3 or when I reach home like 3 to 4 and then maybe have a snack at around that's 3 or 4 at around 6 p.m. earliest 6 p.m. latest 8 if I have dinner at 6 p.m. or snacks at 6 p.m. I can sleep at 8 probably or 9 but if I have it at 8 then I'll probably sleep at 11 so yeah it depends because like I keep telling myself don't sleep late don't sleep late but then there are things that I have to do not that I'm stressfully busy about it it's just like I'm enjoying having a lot of time to do what I like to do when I like to do it so yeah so first things first I'm in my oops I'm in my bedroom workstation this is my bedroom workstation mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you a tour wait it's so messy but yeah I'm gonna give you the actual tour okay so I have here my laptop this is my personal laptop my work laptop is right over there in that bag I'm gonna take that out later so this is my personal laptop my desk things I need want or need need and here my vanity so yeah I have stuff this is the actual thing this is my daily planner daily schedule where there is a conversion of uh, the time difference so I just know when Jonard's awake and when Jonard's not awake and this is my calendar the um, excerpts or the summary of um, the book that I'm reading of Atomic Habits and yeah so my medicine vitamins makeup brushes Make up more medicine and vitamins and it's beside my lamp with all my hair tie and these I think this is a power bank and um, all my note notebooks yeah so yeah who work with me today Sana, mommy? Ah, ano man at siya? Love me. Oh, yeah. Tummy, oh. Tam, tam, belly rarab. Kisa mo na? Mommy. Oy. Sige, sige. Okay, bye. Hello, hi guys. I'm editing um, Vlogmas Day 1. It's 11.17 p.m. and I'm editing. I'm starting to edit it. And I just want to insert this last clip just to um, start off with um, my Vlogmas Daily Realizations, Daily Reflections. So my Vlogmas Daily Reflection or Daily Realization for today is that everything is indeed a blessing. Me being here today is a blessing. It's a blessing that I'm very much thankful for. And um, there might be challenges along the way. There might be some hindrances, some blocks. But then God is really um, faithful in his promises. He's really making these challenges beneficial to you in the end. I couldn't just like specify what it, what it is that I'm um, going through right now. But... I am just thankful that immediately I have turned these challenges into something that um, would help me in the long run. And I'm just turning um, whatever negatives coming my way into positives. And I am very hopeful all these things will become good in the end. And um, these are just gentle nudges or gentle pushes that I need because without them... I won't be um, coming out of my shell and um, turning them into 
strengths and um, making the most out of the opportunities that I have here. So yeah, it's still day one and I already have a lot of realizations and I hope you stay with me until we finish this vlogmas. Hopefully this is the year that we will be able to finish vlogmas and then go on and continue on doing daily, if not daily, um, every other day vlogs or maybe at least, at least, at the very least, weekly vlogs. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you are having a good start of December as much as I am. Not everything may come our way, but there are things that we can do to make every single day worth it, perfect, and just right for us. And yeah, see you next time and I hope, I hope and I will be seeing you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 2. You take care and don't forget to pray. Bye!